everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to look at my shop my stash for February and see if I'm going to change up anything I did actually change up one item during the month because I will show you in a moment that one of the items just wasn't working for me so anyway so during February let me just get the right palettes out so I chose this palette here the Mermaid Forever palette now I don't know whether it's because the formula has changed or what but I didn't like it it's just not as good as it was it's crumbly and it just wasn't working as you can see I've hit pan oh I've stabbed it I've hit pan here and here because I had so much trouble making that show any pigment on my eyes at all so much trouble I kept going in with it and in with it and it just kept getting softer and it hit pan just with one use so as you can see I'm thinking it's lost some of its um, oh, coughing what I'm saying it's lost a bit of its formula quality that's about as good as I'm going to get today isn't it so yeah it wasn't great some of the pinks are nice they don't, and I find that orange just wasn't working and I know they have done so although I like the brown side and the grey green side I have got colours like this so I'm thinking that's going to end up in my empties video forward slash declutter so that is coming guys so I'm not going to be using that anymore um this palette I barely touched it to be fair I've barely touched it um and I still like it and the quality is fine so I'm going to be keeping this in my shop my stash just so I can get more use out of it Also, did I go in, I remember rightly, because I have swapped out a palette, yeah, I think I did go in with that, yeah I did, so I chose this green one, the mint one, and I've actually surprisingly really enjoyed this palette, um, the dual chrome did not work for me, duo chrome, at all so i've just took the shade out because i'm never going to use it but yeah i've really enjoyed this palette as you can see i've made some fair dents in this as i've really been going in with this palette a lot so i think i am going to be i reckon i'm going to keep that in my stash stash too so i'm keeping those actually no, I'm going to put that away. I'm going to use it under the month. So, I have some palettes here. Oh, yes. Yeah. Why you think about it? I swapped out the Mermaids one and I put that in. The chocolate orange one. And I really do enjoy this palette. I've not been using it that long because I really did persevere with the Mermaids one. But, yeah. I really have enjoyed using it especially the pinky shades so i'm not going to have it in this once but i do like that so i now have this pile i've just got out rather than get my whole collection out i've just got a few palettes i'm looking out to use for the month for march so let's have a look so I know this is new to my collection but I've got the Vibing palette out. Now the reason why I've done this is because I've gone in with this a couple of times and normally Makeup Obsession is really good but I've been a bit underwhelmed to be fair. Um, it's a nice palette. I'm underwhelmed by these two shades really because the other shades are really good but these two shades are a bit meh in my opinion they look nice on swatches i'll just swatch them both the 
they look quite nice on swatches but yeah even on swatches you can just see the you haven't quite got the pigment I would like and Makeup Obsession is normally really good but the rest of them are really good and the swatch really nice so I've thought about that one also bring it oh I thought job to you then. <laughs> bringing this one into it the Miss Cars palette it still gives me Juvia's Place vibes and that is just like that now I went in with it quite a few times when I first bought it and now I'm just leaving it sat in the drawer if I come over here a minute because I'm going towards that way instead of being this way so yeah and I really need to go back in with this I wish they had more matte shades other than these but I can bring in another palette and just use the matte shades on there so it's actually not a problem about that variety. Another palette I have bought out, the drawer, is this one. The Rev I Heart Revolution 80s palette. I'm not really gone in a whole load with this and there is some really pretty shades that I would like to go in with so I'm not sure if I'm going to put this in yet but that's another choice another one I want to go in with more is the Kami palette and that I just love the packaging of this and this one is like that so it's got a lot of strong colours in there and it is a really gorgeous palette plus I've got me two highlighters which I also like so that is also another one I could use I'll leave the box out because there's no point putting it back just yet and another one the first soap palette and that one is just like that and I've not gone in nearly enough with it and I need to give it you know more use because it's not that old but I want to just use it more so let me put that in there because I'm going to end up losing that so let's see yeah I think out of this lot I'm just going to have a look at the Kami one because I need to also pop in the sleeve to that. Now this one's got some really nice pops of colour, of which I do like. Really big pans. Love the highlighter side, although I'd only use the one, because the other one's a bit dark. Uh, so that... I don't know. I don't know. Let's have a look. Yes, I'm going to go in with this one and I'm going to be using that one and I need to have a look. This one is nice for neutrals, this one is very strong, that one's okay if you want a lot of pinks and stuff, so I'm going to put the Vibe In one in it as well. So they're the palettes I'm going in with. So I also, and I did pop it on the Instagram eventually what highlighter I was using. I've been using the W7 Strobe Time palette. And as you can see, the most favourite shade is this one that I've been going with all the time. And I have it on today. And I think it looks really okay. Beaming to the gods, but that seems to be my thing. And, yeah, I really do enjoy this. I like those two shades. That one's a bronzer kind of thing, and I don't use bronzers. And definitely not shimmery ones. But, yeah, I really love this, and I'm going to keep this in. I 
I'm also going to be keeping this blusher palette in from Revolution because I really do enjoy it and I've really quite enjoyed that shade and that shade as recently as well so I'm going to see if I can make that work as a contour shade so I'll give that a go it isn't as dark as it looks I could probably go in quite lightly and make it work so yeah I'm going to keep that in there as well mainly all the face stuff I'm keeping in I've got another palette to show you which is this one I also swapped out the mermaid one for this one as well because I did two different swaps and I tried this that shade does not show up no matter what you do that is patchy that is patchy that is a really funny colour uh, I like these brownie shades and the golds and the white but yeah it, even the purples of this palette is not holding me it's just not I've got better so I'll probably end up having that in my shop my stash because I don't see myself using it going into it and I did go into it that one day and I wasn't big on it so yeah I'm all over the place today no change there so I'm still using this uh, Le Cura powder which is dupe for the Laura Mercier and as you can see that is going now if I push all that to there you'll see that is basically all the products I have so I've really been enjoying that and I've also been enjoying this banana powder for setting powder for my lids so that's work for that so I'm still going in with that I'll put that there and I always love this lipstick from Soph it's not a problem to use and as you can see it keeps going further down but I have a backup so all okay there so yeah lipsticks I'm going to keep in there which were the Rimmel ones these two the lip gloss the same the iHeart Revolution one and I just always use that so I'm swapping them over for the Makeup Obsession Vibing palette the Soph X first palette and also the iHeart Revolution 80s palette so that's what I'm going to be doing hopefully I don't reach any problems of pigment but that's how it works with shop my stash you go into the stash you've got palettes you've not used in a while and you find these things out and I've really been enjoying doing shop my stash I'm loving it so I'm going to continue until I get bored <laughs> some days I do go in with a different palette I just itchy head some days I do I just think oh I just want to use that palette today and I do that you know it's fine but yeah so anyway I'm going to let you go because I've been waffling on way too long I will see you again soon please press the like button if you like this video and please press the subscribe button while you're there and press the notification bell so you will be notified when I upload again thank you so much for watching Goodbye everyone. Sing it out,